all the clouds behind the sun by increasing my exposure. See, so, yeah, even the sunspot is almost disappearing because I've turned it up so bright. Now I'm reducing the exposure. Now I'm bringing some of the clouds in front of the sun. Now I go more and more. And now I brought them all in front of the sun, see? So see, this looks like some clouds are behind the sun because they're getting washed out, most of them. And if I reduce it down, see more of them move to appear in front of the sun, but if I brighten it up, oh, actually that's a really thick one. I can't, I can't bring the foot down behind the sun because it's not even shining through it. Let's see, can I pause this until the sun comes back? Well, it's still... Oh, maybe it's coming back now. Maybe if I zoom out, I can find... Oh, there it is. Okay, well, anyway, see I can bring the sun this side of most of them, but not the really black ones because it may block it out, but I can also move it behind even the thin ones by dimming down my exposure like that. And of course if this were a dim yellow or dim orange sun on a sunset with a lot of bright clouds, then we could get some clouds in the background too, but as it is, see look, that looks just like I've got clouds behind the sun and then in front of it. And that's as far as the thing will adjust. I think I could open it up a bit more, but it's not. I can dim it down though. Some spot. Try to focus it here. There we go. A little bit shaky, but if I get it aimed and then let go, you can sort of see it going. Okay, hands off the camera. It's just that's the sun setting as it moves.